friends? In this video, we will extend the concept of limit to allow for two situations, not covered by the definition of limit in the previous videos, limits at infinity and infinite limits. Let's start with limits at infinity. This is a function we have and you can see its graph. Limits at infinity mean that as x becomes an arbitrarily large number, whether it is negative or positive, then what will be the limit of the function? We call the same limit as limits at infinity. Instead of writing x becomes an arbitrarily large number, here I have written x approaches infinity. Why infinity? Recall that the symbol infinity does not represent a real number. We cannot use the infinity symbol in arithmetic in the usual way, but we can use the phrase approaches infinity to mean becomes arbitrary large positive and the phrase approaches minus infinity to mean becomes arbitrary large negative. Let us find the limit of this function when x will approach infinity. We will focus on this black dot. What value is the function approaching as x takes on larger and larger positive values? To 1, right? In this way, we will say that the limit at infinity of this function is 1. Next, we see what will be the limit of the function when x approaches negative infinity. Again we have to focus on the black dot as x takes on larger and larger negative values. The function is approaching minus 1 value. The limit of this function is minus 1 at negative infinity. Next, we look at the second example. This is a function g of x. Here also we see, what will be the limit of the function when x approaches infinity? As x takes on larger and larger positive values, the function is approaching zero. In this way the limit of this function is zero. If we find the limit of this function at negative infinity, the function is approaching zero as x takes on larger and larger negative values. So the limit of this function is zero even at negative infinity. Another concept emerges from limits at infinity, which helps us to analyze the graph of the function. Let's understand that also with the help of an example. Here I have drawn a black colored curve. I erase the x-axis and y-axis. Now we find the limit of this function when x will approach infinity. As x takes on larger values, the function approached zero. If we look at this carefully, then we came to know that, it is following a straight line, which we call the same line as the asymptote of the curve. This means if a curve approaches a straight line as it recedes very far away from the origin that line is called an asymptote of the curve. Because here in the graph it is a horizontal line, we will name it the horizontal asymptote of the curve. What will be the equation of this line? I show both the axes again. Here we got to see that the horizontal asymptote is exactly above the x-axis, so the equation of the line of the x-axis will be the same for this horizontal asymptote. Similarly, there are also vertical asymptotes and other asymptotes. Let's see the vertical asymptote as well. Here I have drawn a curve on the graph. You can see, the yellow colored vertical lines are the vertical asymptote of the curve. Vertical asymptote is related to infinite limits, so now we have to understand infinite limits, let's understand it. Before proceeding further, one important thing for you, please do subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications of upcoming videos. This is another function we have and you can see its graph. Here we will find the limit of this function when x approaches 0. 0 can be approached from either side. Let's start from the right side. As soon as x started approaching 0, 
The function started approaching a very large number or we can say that it started approaching infinity. So from here what do we get the limit of function on zero? Infinity. If we also look from the left, as x approaches zero, the function is again approaching infinity. So in this way the limit of this function is infinity when x approaches zero. This is what we call infinite limits. When we get the limit of function infinity, remember one thing that infinity is a number, infinite limits are not really limits at all, but they provide a way of describing the behavior of functions that grows arbitrarily large positive or negative. Now let me show you, how it is related to the vertical asymptote. Let's see it. Since the function was approaching infinity when x was approaching zero, here we can see that the function is approaching a vertical straight line, which is the vertical asymptote of the curve. Since this vertical line is above the y-axis, then its equation x will be equal to zero. And we use these asymptotes of the curve to know the behavior of the function. Next, we see another example. You can see the function and its graph. Here we will find the limit of the function when x will approach zero. We have two ways, one is from the right side the other is from the left side or we can say that we will find the right limit and the left limit. First, find the right limit, as soon as x starts approaching zero, then the function is approaching infinity, which means the right limit of a function is infinity. Let's look at its left limit. When x starts approaching zero, the function starts approaching negative infinity, which means the left limit is negative infinity. So what is the difference between limits at infinity and infinite limits we got from this? In limit at infinity, x approaches infinity, Whereas in infinite limits, the limit of a function is found to be infinite when x approaches a value. This is the difference between these two. In the next video, we will understand the continuity of a function. If you like this video then you must like comment and share the video and subscribe the channel to get notifications of upcoming videos, thanks.